All right, so I want to give you guys a little sneak peek about what we're going to talk about. As you probably know, we're doing our 16 video series of offline and online marketing. The next video is a big one. So if you guys don't know, I've actually designed a lot of uh, different types of media over the years for different clients. And one of the biggest ones that I really enjoy because it really gets to showcase the type of work that I do and put it on the big screen, if you will. It's not TV, it's different. But I actually designed, if it's still up here, I think it is. I actually designed the logo on there. There it is. All right. So billboard advertising. I want to talk to you guys today about billboard advertising. That logo, Somerset Assisted Living, is actually my design work that I did about five years ago now. They've had the same ad up here since they opened up their location about four years ago. I did their first location in Rancho Cordova, California, now in Lincoln, California. They're just down the street from my office, but billboard advertising works. That's why people continue to spend money on it. And it's a traditional old school way of advertising that people are still using and a lot of the bigger players in the industry are using. So that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. So today's video is about billboard advertising. You're going to learn a lot. Make sure you grab a pen and paper, take some notes. because I got some things you're going to want to make sure you write down. All right. One of the things I want to tell you before we really jump into the details is understanding that there are two different kinds of billboards. There's print billboards like this, and there's digital billboards that constantly change about seven to 10 seconds with a new ad. These ones stay forever, as you can tell, whereas the digital ones will rotate new ads every few minutes and every few seconds. So it's really loud out here. I wanna get into the details and really give you the most value possible. So let's roll back to the office and we'll talk about more there. All right, so back to billboard. So with billboard advertising, I've done tons and tons of different campaigns from restaurants to HVAC, solar companies, and even most recently roofing companies. HVAC was probably one of the funnest ones that I've done. We did a book billboard that we could put up on the screen here that says, your wife is hot, show her you care, fix the air. That one did really, really well. Uh, we've done roofing campaigns that have generated over six figures just in a few months. Billboard advertising for roofing and for home services is a really great method. You gotta get the right location, which we're gonna talk about here in just a few minutes, but it is very effective for home service based businesses. So these big companies that are advertising, the McDonald's, you see these huge companies on the freeway advertising on billboards, they wouldn't be spending their money and putting money there if it didn't work. Success leaves clues and the fact that so much money is being poured, which we're gonna talk about as well, into billboard advertising tells me that it does work but you have to do it the right way and there's a lot of factors. So I'm gonna jump into that today, talk to you guys a little bit more, make sure you have your pen and paper and some notes because I'm gonna get into some stats. But first I have a question. Have you ever called somebody from a billboard ad that you saw going down the road? Did you ever stop at a gas station because you saw a billboard ad or get food uh, drive through because you saw a billboard ad? A lot of people don't even realize how effective billboard ads are and that they've used them on many occasions. Billboard ads are ways to direct us right off the freeway to a local business. There's ways to get exposure for a real estate agent, to get out funny branded messages. One of the first billboard ads that I can recollect seeing was in my neighborhood, which was on top of a car wash. It was for Rolex. That was the way that I found out that Rolex even existed. And I remember asking my dad, what's Rolex? And that's when he told me that they were the best, the best watch out in the market. So let's get into some of these industry stats. So 71% of people consciously look at billboards while driving. I have some sources on that that I'll cite down in the description. Um, that's more than two out of three people. That's a, that's a really big deal. The second stat is Americans spend almost 300 hours in their car each year. 300 hours in your car. Imagine how many billboards have you passed by now. Just like anything else, consistency is key when it comes to billboard advertising. If you advertise for a month, you think that you're gonna have huge success, you're gonna be super disappointed. So the third stat that I find that's really interesting that I wanted to share with you guys is there are over 342,306, roughly, right? Billboards in the United States and almost 8,000 of those are digital billboards. Billboards are starting to transition 
from print, like you saw earlier, to digital, because it allows you to rotate ads. And there's even billboards out there that can detect the type of cars that are driving by, by their radios and what stations they're listening to, and can change the ad based on the traffic and the time of day. And so digital billboards are on the rise. The technology is getting better. It's allowing the people to be more targeted versus the time of day and playing certain ads at certain times of day. So billboards are a big deal. It's something that you should be looking at and you should have at least a basic understanding of if you're gonna be using them in your business or for your clients' business. So before I talk about getting the most out of billboard advertising and what you can do, how you can use it for your business, what I would like is for you to drop a comment down below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and let me know that you're finding this content helpful, that it's actually gonna be beneficial for you in the future and that you want more content like this. You can do that just by dropping a like, it helps me out a lot. So let's get into how you can use billboard advertising to impact your business and your clients' businesses. So the first thing is the messaging. This is where everybody falls short. Nine out of 10 billboards that I see are not doing it right. And it's about keeping the messaging simple. A lot of people try to put too much words, too much content. And the thing that's most important on that billboard is not your logo. A lot of people, including that Somerset one you saw earlier, they take up three quarters of the billboard with their logo. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. They don't want to see your logo on the billboard. They don't care about the logo. They care about what's in it for them. It's W-I-F-F-M, right? What's in it for me? And so understanding what is in it for them, for the customer, and making your billboard revolve around that with your messaging is what's most important. And then the second piece of that, besides the messaging of why they should be looking at it and taking the time, is how do they get in contact with you? Do you have a QR code on the billboard? Do you have a phone number on the billboard? Is there a website address? How do people reach you? A lot of people make this piece way too small. They don't put a very strong call to action. And this is something that I don't want you to make the same mistake on. So that's number one, is making sure that you have the right messaging on your billboard. Number two is location, location, location. Understanding the demographics and the area where that billboard is placed, who's gonna see it, what the amount of traffic is that's going by there, what type of traffic, what is the city that it's in. Really understanding that this is a local marketing campaign first, rather than a national marketing campaign is gonna help you out a lot. So make sure you put it in the right location where there's high visibility, high traffic, and it's something that people are gonna maybe be sitting out of light. If you're sitting out of light, in your neighborhood somewhere and there's a billboard there and you're sitting there for minutes and minutes and minutes and you see this billboard all the time, that could be a great location. So you wanna spot it out. It's important real estate, it's important to get the right location because you can spend a lot of money on a billboard advertising campaign for a long time and see zero return if you got a bad location. So wanna make sure you got the right location. That's number two. The third way for you to get the most out of billboard advertising is to be consistent. If you're walking in saying that I'm gonna run this billboard ad and the first month I'm gonna make so much money that I'm gonna be able to pay for the second month, you're walking into trouble. You're gonna throw your money down the drain, you're gonna be pissed and you're gonna say that billboard advertising doesn't work. And that's not true. Billboard advertising doesn't does work. And if it didn't, people wouldn't be spending billions with a B of dollars on it. So making sure that you're consistent. Now there's something special here that is outside of these methods a little bit and talks a little bit more about strategy and the science of marketing, which we're gonna talk about in future videos but that is understanding the reticular activating system that you have in your brain. It is a science. You have to see something 13 times at least for it to pass through the reticular activating system in your brain. And that is a part of your brain that filters out information that keeps us from literally going crazy. Because if we took it everything and saw everything and absorbed everything that we saw, our brains would probably explode. It protects us. So you have to see something over and over again consistently for a long period of time. The number is 13. 13 weeks or 13 times to see something, hear something, view something in order for it to plant into somebody's brain and for them to be able to recognize it. That recall is super important. So the longer that you run those billboard ads, the better the performance is gonna be. And with the right messaging, right location, and putting it in the, you know, with the right context, it's gonna really help you out big time being consistent. The last piece, and this is something super important I want you to understand, is tracking your performance. It's one thing to advertise and spend money on marketing and advertising, but if you don't know what's working and what's not working, you're really only hurting yourself and you're gonna be having minimal results. The way you get the best results with your marketing is tracking your performance. So the way you can do that with a billboard is by doing a specific landing page. You can create a URL just for that billboard and then forward that to a specific page of your website. You can create a QR code. These are getting more and more popular, especially since the pandemic and restaurants are using them for their menus now. QR codes are a really great way to drive people back to your website. 
You can track them, you can retarget them, you can do all kinds of neat stuff to build that audience. So to take them from billboards to online, which is a really great strategy and something I'm gonna be talking about more in future videos. And then call tracking numbers. This is another big deal. You can use a text message SMS, little short code like text roof to 45456 or you know, whatever call tracking number that you want to set up that's an easy to remember number, something simple, make sure it's big enough, make sure it's readable, and that people are actually going to be able to track that back to you. So you want to be able to ask people as well when they call in, how did you hear about us? They'll say, oh, I saw your billboard, right? So the more tracking you do, the more you're going to see if it's beneficial or not for your business, because it doesn't work for every single business, but it'll work for most businesses if it's done right. So the last piece to all this, and this is probably what you've been wondering and asking yourself, is what does a billboard actually cost? It just depends on the size, if it's digital, if it's print. The billboard advertising costs can go as low as five thousand. I've seen you know, on the low end and go as high as thirty-five thousand, and that's for a month. So let me just talk about this for a second. So location, I'm going to give you an example. Sunset Boulevard billboards range from fifteen thousand dollars to thirty-five thousand dollars due to the population the density and the real estate value and the area itself. I mean, obviously, you know, Sunset Boulevard is a really highly prominent, affluent, rich area. So if you're going to advertise in there, you're going to have to drop some coin to put billboards in front of those people. The demographics. This refers to the assessment of the characteristics of people who pass by the billboard, such as their age, gender, and, and most importantly, their income level. This is a big deal. The duration. So now we're talking a little bit more about you know, the digital side versus the print, but a billboard campaign duration can range anywhere from four weeks to several months. So that duration needs to be at least four weeks. I think you're going to throw money away if you only do four weeks. Like I said, 13 weeks is the minimum uh, to multiple months. But the duration on digital billboards can be anywhere from five seconds up to 10 to 15 seconds to show your ad. It just depends on the location, how popular it is. They can squeeze more in in that time. Um, the next piece here to the billboard advertising is billboard companies typically rent spaces by cost per mile. They call it cost CPM. It's cost per thousand impressions. So they base that price that they're giving you based on how many impressions, how many people are seeing that billboard on a daily basis. The next one, and this is second to last, is the labor cost and the design of the production. So production costs can range as low as 250 bucks and as high as 1500. I put 1500. I originally had 750 in there, but you gotta think if you're doing a printed one, some of those things can get pretty expensive. And this really just depends on the size of the billboard and what material that it's actually gonna be printed on if it's print. Rental costs for digital ads based on billboards are more expensive than classic vinyl billboards. So they have to create the artwork, they gotta design that. So there's some costs to actually creating the artwork. We've done a lot of these for clients because they didn't wanna have to pay that cost and it's more affordable. If that's something you need, let me know. If not, um, we're gonna jump over here to the last one which is installation. So installation costs are another element that you want to consider. Most billboards cost, uh, depending on the square foot and the larger the size of the billboard, the less the cost effective it will be. So, you know, if you have a gigantic, massive billboard, you're gonna have to print that huge final banner and then have that whole thing installed, which is gonna take some time. So there's a cost to that. So not only do you have the design and production, but then you have the installation cost. So these are just some of the things that you need to know about billboard advertising, some important elements. I hope you wrote all that down because there's a lot of information, but billboards are great. Um, if you're a local business, I would definitely encourage you if you're at that place where you've got other digital marketing going and you want to really brand your name locally in your town, that's a really good way to do it. So that's all I got for you guys today. I know that's a lot of information, but my goal is to help you guys get breakthrough in your business and really understand all of the spokes of your offline marketing. So I'm Adrian Boisel. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and make sure you join the Instagraphics Pro Network if you're a designer, web designer, motion designer, graphic designer, I want to invite you. This is a community, a group of amazing people, and we're doing some awesome things in there like events and trainings and showing off our work and rating each other's work and giving each other feedback. I'd love to have you there. All you got to do is fill out all of the questions. We won't let you in if you don't, but you got to fill out all the questions to the group. I'll let you in. And you'll be part of our family. And as we continue to grow, you'll grow with us. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. I'm Adrian Boisel. And as always, keep looking up.